Hello Pisces viewers. So I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Just whatever the cards want to say. Divine intervention, synchronicity, X in the past. So the last reading I did, I was getting that someone is um, going through a psychic awakening process here. Like your soulmate is psychic. They're, they're starting to really wake up and pay attention to the synchronicities. And they're accepting that you guys are soulmates or twin flames. Like maybe they weren't open to this before, but now they are open to this and they're actually exploring it themselves. So they might be scrying or channeling you or meditating on you. Um, they might be a psychic themselves. Let's just see what the cards have to say. And keep in mind, this could be a different person than what I got for um, the reading I did a couple weeks ago. Like, it's the same energy group. If you're a Pisces and you've been following me the past few months, like, this is, you know, this is for you. This is your story. This is the same energy group. But the um, the reading might be different. You know, I might be channeling someone different than who I channeled a couple weeks ago. So let's just see what the cards want to say. Yes, yeah, someone from the past was cold and guarded and distrusting. And I think that their guides just woke them up. I think that with the synchronicity, it's like they, like maybe they had to learn their lessons the hard way. Maybe they went down this, like a certain path and, um, you know, maybe in the past they were just, they were cold and guarded and kind of distrusting with you. And they, they had to go down a, a different path alone and they had to go through a dark night of the soul. They had to go through an awakening process to to get to a point where they have a new perspective so the divine sort of stepped in and at the time it might have felt like why are we not talking why is this person I thought this was destiny why are they going down a separate path but sometimes it's like you're destined together and then you just have to split up and then you come back together it's kind of like that it's like it doesn't mean that it's not destiny it just means that it might not be the right timing they might have had to, and this is probably the past um, or it could be something recent that happened as well. But now they're wanting to make a move. Now they're realizing that they shouldn't have been in this energy. But they, they went through a lot and I feel like they changed. I feel like they used to be kind of cold, kind of emotionally unavailable. And they ended that pattern. So the divine had to help them. And some of them just couldn't learn that lesson with you. Some of them maybe used you as a crutch or they used you, like maybe they were just really happy with you or they just felt comfortable with you and they... Um, sort of used you as like an escape from reality like they kind of you know they like they focused on the relationship to kind of avoid um doing the shadow work that they needed to do so that could be why the divine had to end this because they really needed to focus on themselves for a while and they really needed to heal themselves and they were just too comfortable with you so they weren't willing to do the work that they needed to do but um you know, it looks like whatever path they've gone down, it looks like they've really matured in a very short period of time. Now, this could be months. This could be a matter of like two or three years or so. But however, I don't feel like it's been more than a few years, but maybe it has. But but I feel like whatever happened, it's like they had to go down this path to um, to really grow and mature at a rapid rate. You know, they they kind of they probably hit tower moment after tower moment after tower moment until they could just no longer ignore their soul so I get the sense of someone who tried to suppress who they really are like they tried to um, maybe just ignore the part ignore their shadow side they maybe they tried to think positive all the time and they ignored their shadow side and didn't want to do their shadow work maybe they um, were just kind of cold and guarded and distrusting and just tried to keep things in the shallow end like you guys dated but they never let it get too deep um, it's like they just the divine was calling them to be, because this person is very creative. This person is very spiritual and open and they're meant for a great destiny. And so I think that this person was trying to play it. And this could be you, this could be your story or this could be your person, but whoever this person is, it's like they were trying to play it small and they were trying to just kind of live a comfortable, normal life. And the divine is like, nope, like this person is meant to be like, a musician or an artist or um or write a book or do something they're meant to leave their mark on the world they're meant to some of them might be, be meant to be famous they're they're meant to put their energy out into the world they're not meant to have a normal life 
And a lot of times you'll see with healers, they don't, like a lot of people think that healers are just people that think positive and just spread love and light. But honestly, the real healers have had messy, horrible lives most of the time, to be honest. I'm not saying that you can't be a healer if you've had a normal life, like you totally can be. But like the best healers are the ones that have been through the toxic, abusive relationships and the bad childhoods and the, the trauma and the darkness and the chaos. And then they go through the dark night of the soul and they come out on the other side and they use all those experiences to help other people and to teach them because they can resonate with that energy. They can, they can relate to it so they can help other people who are coming out of that energy. You know what I mean? Like, like I've been in abusive relationships and I'm now led to try to help other people that are in abusive relationships. That's part of what I do on this channel is I, you know, sometimes I channel people that are still in that energy and I, I'm here to, cause I resonate with that energy. I recognize it now since I've been through it. So I try to help people see the signs of gaslighting and whatnot and get out of that energy. So this could be, this is like the healer's path. So I don't know if this is you or your person, or it could actually be both of you. You guys could be twin flames and you could be mirroring each other in that way, or they could even just be a soulmate, but you might be mirroring each other in that sense that you're both healers and you both maybe had to go on your own separate paths and go through your own individual dark nights of the soul and then come back together when you're at a more stable point, because maybe in the past you guys were just not stable enough and you guys might have ended up having an explosive hot cold relationship. So or maybe you guys did have an explosive hot cold relationship. And so the divine needed to end that um, and get you guys to, to do your individual work and then come back together when you can be a little bit more stable. But whoever this person is, this person is not meant to have a normal life. Like this person is a healer. This person is meant to be an artist, a musician. This person is meant to be loud and, um, you know, courageous and creative and artistic. And they're, they're a creator. Like they're meant to bring their energy in, out into the world. Like they're meant to bring new and creative energy out into the world. Like they're meant to do things that the world hasn't seen before. Um, it's like, think of, um, God, I was just reading, do, are, do, are, do any of you like, a, oh God, what was it? I was reading about some musician that like went through, God, they went through so much. Like their childhood was messed up. Like they went through like drugs when they were a, a ch child. Like they went through like abuse, like everything. And it's like, they ended up being one of the mo most creative uh, musicians out there. I don't know why I can't talk right now. Oh my gosh. Maybe there's a throat chakra block for some of you, but, um, But yeah, it's like someone's like meant like someone's like trying to have a normal life. And it's like the divine's like, no, that's not meant for you. Like normal isn't meant for you. You're meant to be creative. You're meant to go with the flow. You're meant to be emotional and intuitive and just raw and real and passionate. You're meant to step outside of the box and do things your own way. You're meant to follow your passion. You're trying to go. It's like this person in the past was trying to go with the flow of society and just you know, fit in. And it's like, it's, it's such a disgrace to do that because you have, this person has a lot to offer the world. Um, so again, this could be you or your person. It might just be, um, kind of some insight into your person, into why things had to happen the way that they did. Cause for some of you, it was like, there was like an abrupt ending or it might've been hot and cold or, you know, it's, it's like you, you, you felt that strongly that this was your person, that this was your destiny. And then the divine was like, Nope, sorry gotta end this and you're like what the hell like this person you told me this person was for me why did you let this end and like you felt betrayed by your person you felt betrayed by the divine and um it just it doesn't it's just the timing you know their timing is always so much different than ours they don't have and it's very frustrating because they don't have the same sense of timing as we do so to us it's like a few years has passed to them it's probably like a couple like a month or something you know what i mean like their their time just time is different in the higher realms so they don't have that same connection and same sense of timing that we have so they don't they don't see a few years as a big deal unfortunately even though we do with our you know from the human perspective so i kind of feel like for most, some of, some of you might be in this energy where this just ended and you're like, what the hell? Like you just met your twin flame and now it's ending, which typically happens in twin flame relationships is that you guys meet, but then you trigger each other to do the shadow work. Cause it's like, it's, you know, love is, 
the most creative energy there is. It's it's that love opens you up. It, you know, love is is that energy that comes in and gets things flowing again. So it's like maybe maybe some of you just met your twin flame and now there's a separation because it's like you have to like you triggered each other. Like you guys were numb and then that that raw emotion just you triggered each other and now you guys are doing your shadow work and then when that's done you have this chance to come back together. Does that make sense? Um, for others, I feel like this was the past, like in the past, the divine stepped in and you guys split up and you didn't understand why you felt like this, like this was my person. Why did the divine do this? And the divine just kind of wanted to come in and clarify like that had to happen the way it did because your person was trying to play it small. Like they were trying to, they were too comfortable. They were, they were um, trying to have a normal life. They were trying to use you as a crutch and not do the shadow work that they needed to do. Like they were, um you know, just kind of just almost like a little bit stagnant. And the divine just had to come shake things up because this person, so again, this is you or your person, or it could be both of you, but someone here has a very important destiny. Like someone here is meant to be an artist or a musician or um, like an actress or um, like write a book or do something. And on the path they were currently on, it wasn't happening because they were just too comfortable. It was like they were trying to have a normal life. Like, okay, let's, let's, I'm going to buy a house and then I'm going to get married. I'm going to have kids. Like, and that's all that stuff is great. Like you guys can totally have that, but they just, they, they had tunnel, someone had tunnel vision, you know, what if whoever this is, someone had tunnel vision and they weren't, um, on track with their destiny anymore because they were just trying to have, you know, like the, the typical American dream. Like I'm going to, I'm going to get married. I'm going to have kids. I'm going to, you know work a nine to five job and retire when I'm 60, just, just, you know, just, just very, you know, common dreams. And again, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like you guys can totally have that, you know, like you can still have the house and the marriage and all that, but whoever this person is, is also meant for a much greater destiny than just the typical, you know, nine to five job and retiring at 60. This person is meant to do something really important that's going to impact a lot of people. Now, this could be music. This could be art. This could be writing a book. That's, uh, this could be uh, being a motivational speaker. It's something like that where it's going to impact a lot of people. It's going to inspire a lot of people. It, it's almost like the butterfly effect, that kind of energy where it's like it's, it's something... There's something that they need to do and they could do that with you. But maybe, maybe when they were with you, they were kind of just, um, maybe they, maybe they didn't care as much about that because they were happy with you. So they're like, you know what? I actually don't need to do that. And maybe they had to separate them because now that you're separated, it's like they have this void inside them and the divine is trying to get them to fill that void with their destiny. So say you guys were together and it was like hot and cold or it was, you know, just familiar or whatever. And then the divine came and, and you know, broke that up. And now it's like this person feels alone, but the divine is trying to get them to be like, okay, well you feel alone. So, so write that book, right? Use this energy to write songs, write those songs you've been, you're meant to write. Do, do, you know what I mean? Like they're trying to get them on path with their destiny to do what they're meant to do. And I feel like once they start doing that, that's when you guys get to be together. Like once they've done that or once they at least get started with that because they don't want to bring you guys back together and then have it get familiar and comfortable again and have this person not pursue their dreams and not pursue their, their soul contract, their destiny, what they're meant to do. And this could be you. I don't know if it's your person or you. It could be you. Maybe you're meant to do something important and amazing in the world and maybe you kind of got familiar and comfortable and just focused on the relationship and you didn't care as much about pursuing your art or your music because you just kind of had new dreams as a result of having this relationship. And I think the divine was hoping that you could do all of it, but then you kind of just invested a hundred percent in the relationship. And then the divine was like, Nope, sorry, you got to You got to focus on, um, on, you know, what you came here to do on your destiny. And once you fulfill that, once you start doing that, that's when you get to have love. Um, and I know that's frustrating, trust me, because I've, ha I've had them do that crap to me too. And it, it pisses me off. I have had them do that to me too. So I understand it. I understand it. Okay. It is frustrating. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's right. Like it pisses me off too when they do that. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying what the, what the energy I'm channeling and what the cards are saying, you know, but I mean, it's good in a way if you think about it, it's not like, 
this wouldn't be something that you would like hate doing. You know what I mean? It'd be something that would be in your heart to do. If it's in, if it's your destiny, it's going to be in your heart to do it. It might be in a suppressed part of you. It might be part of you that you've left behind in the past that you need to reconnect with. Like maybe when you were 15, 16, you dreamed about being a singer, but then life got crazy and traumatic. And in your 20s and 30s, you, you know, went through a lot and just kind of gave up that dream, started thinking it's unrealistic, started just going with the flow of society and not really fighting for your dreams anymore. So your guides are trying to get you to reclaim your true self and reclaim your spirit, reclaim who you really are and get back on track with that destiny. Whoever this person is, is a very old soul. So they're, you're not meant to live a normal average life. If you're a musician, it could be that you or your person was meant to write songs about the pain and they're trying so hard. Someone's trying so hard to get out of the pain that they're not using that energy of the pain to do what they're meant to do with it, if that makes sense. Like maybe that pain is meant to fuel them to write songs or write a book or, or do something with that pain. And that's why the pain keeps coming up. And they're, instead of, you know, using that pain for, for good and transmuting it, they're just trying to suppress it and fight it and just get out of it. They're like panicking and trying to get past it. But, you know, maybe they're meant to be in that energy because that's, maybe there's a song that's going to be birthed from that energy of pain. And if that makes sense. And once they write that song or, or multiple songs and they can move past that energy, does that make sense? But someone was just cold and guarded and distrusting. And again, could be you, could be your person, could be both of you. I think for some of you, it's both of you. But someone was cold and guarded and distrusting. They just weren't themselves. I just get the energy of someone who's like a very, very old soul, very wise, very creative, very passionate, very emotional. And they went through a phase where they were just sort of bitter, just sort of just not themselves, you know, just kind of staying in the shallow end, just trying to have a normal life, just trying to live comfortably, just playing it small and the divine stepped in and is like, no, you can't, you're not here to play it small. You're meant to be big. Like you're not meant to have an average life. You're meant to have everything, you know, you're not meant to play it small. So the divine stepped in and basically forced this person to get back in touch with their soul. And that's messy. You know, healing is a messy process. So this person probably had tower moment after tower moment after tower moment, like maybe multiple dark nights of the soul. It's not always just one. Sometimes there's, there's a lot of people have quite a few dark nights of the soul. Like it's not, or I don't know if you'd call it that, but whatever you want to call it, like those breakdowns that people have where they just hit rock bottom and they're just forced to face themselves. You know, I think there's one main one, but I feel like you can have similar I don't know what you would call it, but similar energy that repeats like that, you know, that comes up later. Um, because sometimes those rock bottoms are just necessary to get us to where we need to be. But someone was forced to face themselves. They were forced to do the the raw, uh, created, uh, forced to heal, forced to do the shadow work, forced to get in touch with their soul, forced to use their intuition again. You know, so the, the healing process was probably very messy and chaotic. This person probably went through trauma after trauma, you know, just all kinds of just darkness basically for a while. But it like it broke them open. You know what I mean? It 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 showed them who they are and who they aren't. It showed them that they weren't being themselves, that they weren't in touch with their souls. So it's like as chaotic as it was, it's it's very it was very healing. It was very I just get that energy of like passion and raw emotion. Like you guys have probably been in that energy where it's like everything is just so real. And so it's like dark and light. It's just everything. Like everything is so intense. It's like you feel everything. It's that kind of energy where they had to, you know, it was time. Like they were numb or stagnant or just trying to play small. So it had to happen that way. But I feel like they've broken some kind of pattern. And now they're they're themselves more. They're more mature. They're more stable. So this person is wanting to make a move now. They're wanting to come forward. And this is also, I think, a warning too. If this is um, if this is why you guys 
broke up before or why this didn't work out before just to make sure that this time around you don't play it small make sure that you keep focusing on your destiny like let's say for example the divine ended this relationship and the past year or so you've been focusing on your music and then the divine is thinking like okay maybe it's time let's let's see if we can bring this person back into your life well just make sure when they do come back into your life that you keep focusing on the music and you keep focusing on your destiny, whatever that is, because you're, you have to show your guides that you're able to have love and also pursue your destiny at the same time. Cause your guides are going to put your destiny before love. Like they're going to put that first. So you, you have to make sure that if, if this love does come back around, that you keep fo focusing on your destiny and doing what you're meant to do so that the love can stay this time and you can have that balance, you know, because your guides are just your your destiny is very important. And I hate to I mean, I know it's it's irritating, but it's, it's going to help a lot of people, whatever it is, whatever. It's, or the, again, this could be their destiny. I don't know if it's yours or theirs or both, but whoever's destiny it is, it's like it's meant to help a large number of people. So they're going to make sure that you do that. Even if that means that they have to withhold love from you for a while. I hate saying that, but it sucks, but it's true. But I mean, there's, you know, it's an easy solution. You just, you don't it with this relationship comes back around. You don't get, don't give it a hundred percent, you know, give it like 60%, give it a lot, like put it first, give it a lot of your attention, but also pursue your destiny at the same time. Keep doing the music or writing the book or doing whatever it is that you're doing. Don't let the relationship consume you and become everything because your destiny is, is just as important, you know? So make sure you have that balance when this comes back around. Or they need to make sure they have this balance when they come back around. Like maybe you need to push them to do, maybe, maybe they got wrapped up in you and made you their everything. So when this person comes back around, you need to kind of remind them like hey are you are you working on that book are you how's your music going like kind of supporting them pushing them towards their their dreams don't let them don't let them give up their dreams for you you know what I mean because I feel like in the past someone it was like unbalanced someone was just like this relationship is all I need I don't need the I don't need to do music anymore I have this relationship this is the relationship fills the void, you know? And so the, the relationship was taken away because now it's like that void's there and, and their guides are like, why don't you fill the void with your destiny, with music, with art, with whatever you're meant to do, you know? So, <coughs> so yeah, whoever this is, like, <coughs> oh, sorry. Gonna make sure you have that balance when this comes back around. Any final messages? Hidden truth. Yeah, hidden truth, truth, clarity. Could be a third this is probably just a quick message for someone that there could be a third party situation or maybe you cheated or there was you cheated or they cheated or there's a third party or something distracting could have to do with something that happened at a club or a party and that truth's gonna come out either you maybe maybe you need maybe they know about it already and you think they don't know or maybe they want to confess that to you um what is it what happens after that yeah, because maybe they got afraid of commitment and they messed up and now they're spying on you and they have regret. Yeah, apology, regret, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. I think that's just for a couple of you. I don't think that's for very many of you. I think that was just a quick message that wanted to come out for one or two specific people um, that are watching this. And you'll know if that's your, if that specific message was for you, you'll probably already know it. Like this would be something that you'd be already aware of. Um, any other messages regarding the, the collective that's watching this. So maybe your person might be an Aquarius. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Aquarius. Yeah, someone's wanting to come forward. Someone's wanting, they're choosing to be courageous. They're choosing vulnerability and receptivity and love and assertiveness and, and motivation and forward movement. You know, they're choosing to come forward. They're choosing to be brave, finally. And if this is your story and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is in the description box below. And that's the best way to get more details if you want me to, you know, because this is a general reading for my uh, Pisces viewers. But if you want me to go more in in detail and actually connect with your individual person and connect with your energy specifically and get more, more, you know, more, more, uh, clear specific details. I can do that. Just send me an email. Yeah. Someone's wanting this. It's like, 
they weren't open to their emotions, but it's like this, the, this person's path is meant to be emotional. So I think that's the thing is this person was trying to be logical and trying to just, you know, nine to five, just American dream, just live comfortably, play it small. And it's like, no, your, your path is meant to be raw and emotional and creative and artistic and, you know, crazy and loud. Like it's, it's meant to be unique and different. So so go with that. Like you're meant to travel the world. You're meant to have this creative, amazing life. You're not meant to have an average life. So, so yeah, that's the main message here. I'm getting, um, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. See that? Cool. So, um, anyway, my email address is below and any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My donation link is also below and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.